Hey guys, it's G. Welcome to another MLB Perfect Inning Live video, and today is Thanksgiving Day. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Uh, I'm recording this the day before, but I know this is going to be my Thanksgiving Day video. I'll just say what I'm thankful for, which is all of you, uh, my viewers, subscribers, for the most part, uh, fans, maybe. Uh, without your support, you know, it wouldn't be nearly as easy to you know want to make youtube videos try to make better content anything like that so to all of you i'm thankful thank you uh, in the comments just drop something you're thankful for uh, doesn't have to be anything super fancy super personal like can be cliche i mean i was pretty cliche there but yeah, anyways, jumping into the video, which is my team update. Uh, I guess another thing I'm thankful for, thankful for this awesome 91 overall team I've built. Now, at this point, here's what I have. Uh, this Martin Prado is fairly new. I don't think I've featured him uh, in a team update before, so if I have, I do apologize. But a definite contact hitter, not a ton of power, a tiny bit of speed, but... Really, he, excuse me, he's a strong-armed left fielder. He can field fairly well. And then if I want to do some crazy substitutions, he can play anywhere in the infield. Not the best defender, but certainly there's some versatility there. Um, this is Yadier Molina. He's been training, upgrading forever. He should get to a plus two soon. One of the few players I'm waiting on to complete that plus two set deck. This D Gordon off the bench, at least for now. Another new addition. Not quite as good at hitting as uh, Jose Altuve, but faster, 114 speed, and then defensively 100 fielding, 87 throwing. So he's kind of like a speed defense guy. Altuve, my leadoff hitter. Right, so I hit with L2, I use his contact, hopefully get on base. If I get on base, put in D. Gordon for the speed. I can keep him in for the defense. Gives me some nice versatility. The rest of my team, I feel like, has been here for a while on the batting end of things. So let's go to the pitchers. My starters, starting five, all still the same. That will be my next uh, unit to upgrade. If you have any suggestions for upgrading, starting pitcher upgrades and you haven't already commented what you're thankful for or if you want to have multiple comments which is totally fine totally up to you comment who i should get for starting pitchers um, i'm not gonna put any crazy budgets one way or the other but anyways what i really want to talk about is my bullpen which has been fully revamped uh bastardo and barnett need to get to plus twos along with Yachty, to complete that set deck. But we'll go start with Antonio Bastardo. He does have a splitter. Actually, four of my six relievers have splitters. I only use those splitters in ranked head-to-head -head when the opponent uses a cheesy pitch before I do. So I'm not going to be the first person to throw a cheesy pitch because I believe they are inherently unfair i've made videos on them that being said you know if a pitcher's a good pitcher it's hard to avoid them strictly because of a unfair pitch so what i do is the right thing i don't use those pitches unless i am provoked into doing so this bastardo he has a b grade four seam fastball change two seam fastball and slider nothing that really drops Besides the changeup, 103 command, 104 stuff. Uh, you know, you can place the ball almost perfectly with him. Up next, Justin Wilson, six pitch pitcher with no overpowered pitches. Uh, so, you know, if I'm playing someone who played fair, I try to use when they're in a good mood this Justin Wilson or the Matt Bush. The pitchers of mine who don't have the cheesy pitches, just so my opponent knows that not only am I. Not using a cheesy pitch to respect them, but I'm not even having it equipped on the card I'm using. Uh, when you don't even have it on the card, 
it's kind of hard to use that pitch. But he has a four-seam fastball, a two-seam fastball, and a cutter. All the power pitches, a couple of those break. Four-seam fastball, of course, pretty much straight. Then you've got the curveball and the changeup is pitches that drop. Curveball and slider both uh, break side to side as well. I'd say just the 97 command, 94 break, and 92 stuff. It's a nice balance of those three statistics. 81 velocity get, does give him a little bit of zip on the pitches, especially when it, he's in a better mood, and that boosts up. Very nice card, definitely. Up next is Hector Norris. I'd say definitely uh, the, he can max out as the strongest pitcher in my bullpen. Base stats, 106 command, 95 break, 108 stuff, 89 velocity. This guy throws gas. He locates it well. He has the four seam, the change, the two seam, the slider, and the splitter. When he's in a good mood, um, those are all A-grade pitches. Again, I don't use the splitter unless provoked. When he throws absolute filth. That slider can cut all the way from as far inside as possible to just hitting the low or just hitting the inside corner of the plate, high, low, medium. So, honestly, kind of a nightmare to face that slider. Uh, yeah, I really like that card too. Now, Matt Bush, my velocity guy, base ninety six velocity, decent command break and stuff. Five pitches, he's got the four seam, the two seam. He's got a slider, a curveball, and a changeup. I I put him in there when I want to go like slow, fast, back and forth. Really happy with the card. Tony Barnett, a seven pitch pitcher. He's got a changeup, four seam fastball, cutter, slider, sinker, and curve, and splitter. So even when I don't need the splitter... Having that sinker and curve along with the cutter and slider, a ton of different breaks. Uh, so, you know, if you're playing an opponent who's really on your cutter and your slider, you throw a sinker, it breaks completely opposite. Then they adjust to the sinker, you go back to a cutter, a slider, even a curve. You've got some straight stuff. Uh, 98 command, 97 stuff. You can place the ball really well. 83 velocity. Is not bad either. And finally, my new closer, Koji Uehara, at a plus two. Four seam, two seam curve. Some hard stuff. 82 velocity, not that he has the fastest stuff. You know, he's got some uh, hard stuff that can be pretty devastating. He's got a slider. He's got both a sinker and a curve and then the splitter. I wish his command was a little bit higher than 93, but 105 break. The balls are curving all over the place. It's crazy. 97 stuff. A very tough pitcher to face. Very good pitcher as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Seeing my team. Once again, happy Thanksgiving. If you have any suggestions for my team, any questions about your own team, let me know in the comments. I might not get to them until Friday because it is Thanksgiving. Vikings play in the morning. And then Thanksgiving dinner with my family after the Vikings came. But I will try to respond to them by Black Friday if I don't get to them today, Thanksgiving. Uh, yeah. So I guess that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the video, MG. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, and as always, peace out.